Hi, this is Travis here at Wakanda Boats. We're in Glen Elder, Kansas, and here in Republican City, Nebraska. And today we're going to show you the brand new 2015 1875 crossover. Uh, this, for the second year in a row, was our best selling model. And uh, for good reason, this is by far the most versatile boat uh, in Lund's uh, lineup. It's got a ton of storage. It's a big 19 foot boat, very deep, lots of storage, uh, lots of seating capacity. And it's a very, very reasonable price. It meets a lot of people's budgets, and really this is what makes it so popular. Um, so we're going to go over the whole boat with you uh, to give you an idea of the layout. Now this also is a fully rigged boat, and we wanted to do some videos uh, with some rigged boats to give the viewers a good idea of what they look like rigged and try and explain to you why we do what we do and how we rig them. Now to show you on the outside, there's, there's a few uh, options on the crossover that you want to make sure that you consider because, um, you know, a lot of inexpensive options that really bring the boat out. And the first one is this 3D Chrome Lund logo. This logo is standard on the big Ties and Pro Vs, and it's an option on the crossover. We put it on all the crossovers we stock, and uh, really it's something everybody needs to get. This will absolutely up your resale, resale value of the boat just because it really brings it out. Now the other nice thing about the crossovers, they've got a ton of different color combos. This, this white silver combo we've got here, this was new last year and as it turned out, this turned out to be our best selling color combo, this white silver. This silver has the same uh, metallics in it as the, as the Pro V's and Ties do. They integrated metallics into it and I don't know if the video is going to show you in the sunlight today, but it really looks like gel coat when you get it in the sun. It shines and looks really good. Now we're going to have these stocked in all the different colors, um, uh, all the popular colors we'll have. This again was one of the more popular ones. This one is the white silver. Now another one of those options that you definitely want to, in my opinion, you want to get or consider is the custom trailer option. Now again, we do the custom trailer on all our Pro V's, Ties, and crossovers. What that option gives you, you got the Rhino Line trailer frame, okay, so the whole frame's Rhino Line so it can't gravel pit. It's got the really good looking aluminum mag wheels that are also clear coated. That custom trailer option gives you the spare tire. It's got the swing away tongue. If you look back here, standard load guides on the custom trailer option. And then we also, it gives you the retractable tie downs. And these, these tie downs are very underrated. If you look, these, it's very handy to have because you're never going to lose them. You just uh, release it when you're going to go out, when you get it back on the trailer. You load it right up and, and it's it's very handy and, and uh, you know, another good feature to have with the custom trailer option. Um, looking back here too, another thing that's underrated are these boarding ladders that one came out with. If you remember the old school ladders, we always had to do a platform that stuck out here. And the issue with that was that platform would always get caught in the way when you're pulling your towables with your tow rope. So having it integrated here in the splash well really helps because it's out of the way. It's a good high quality three step ladder that uh, folds out here just like so. And uh, you know, it's really a genius design what they come up with because you can see it's recessed here inside the splash well so it's completely out of the way when you're not using it. Um, we got a 150 Merc four stroke. Uh, again, this has always been the go-to motor for this boat. It's, it, it does everything a guy wants to do, whether you want to ski, uh, tube, wakeboard, fish, troll, it, it does it all. It's a, it's a good engine for the, for the size of boat that you got. Uh, this customer opted for the Hummingbird. I think we put an 859 on here. And we try and do this with all the models. You can see we do a transducer board here in the back. For guys that like to mix and match their uh, electronics a lot, this saves you from drilling a bunch of extra holes in the transom. When you have this, we drill holes into this board instead of the transom. It's just better to, to have that way. So uh, This covers the outside. Let's go on the inside and see the meat and potatoes of what makes the crossover so versatile. Um, if you look here in the cockpit, this, this storage compartment here is really what makes the crossover the crossover. This was designed, it's a multi-storage compartment, so it's designed to put whatever you want in there. It's big enough to put skis, tubes, wakeboards, whatever you want to do there. And again, I don't like to lump this model into just a ski and fish, because we have a lot of serious fishermen buy this boat that will never put skis in here. This can be used as rod storage, you can put landing nuts in there, uh, big tackle boxes, whatever, whatever you want. And the beauty behind this storage compartment is you don't lose your in-floor rod storage either. Rods uh, recessed up here on top, you got the, uh, another nice rod box here that just recesses up above the multi-storage compartment. 
You can see uh, we've got this customer's uh, onboard battery charger here in the center. That's the, the battery charger compartment. Those leads stretch out the port and starboard sides. They go right to the trolling motor batteries. So it's handy, it looks neat, and it's out of the way. <clears throat> now, another one of those options I was telling you about that you want to make sure you get on a crossover is also this, this bow filler extension. Um, this is a must, I think, because you've got a really good sized bow up here. For guys that, that spend a lot of time fishing up here, when you have this extension here, you put your uh, fishing seat here, you've got 360 degrees and plenty of leg room to swivel all the way around. Now, it is a bow conversion, just like on the Thais. When you fold this out, you can mount it flush to the floor so your bow riders have plenty of leg room now when they want to set up here. And if you really want to uh, spoil the bow, the bow riders, you can get those bow cushions as well that snap on up front. Here's another option for, for the guys or with families that are going to do a lot of skiing and tubing. Those bow cushions are a popular option. Okay, so you got your bow filler cushion, something you want to make sure you get. <clears throat> Since we're here in the bow, I want to show you another thing that everybody loves about this model. Two huge uh, dry storage compartments on each side. They both cover the whole bow and um, you know it's amazing the, the gear you can get stored in here. This customer also opted for the travel cover which is sitting right here. Uh, trolling motor batteries are mounted toward, toward the back under the consoles on each side so they're good and out of the way. And then uh, if you look up here we've got a courtesy light and we also have an 80 Tarova iPilot on here which is what 90 percent of the buyers are getting uh, you know some type of the Tarova whichever whether it be the link or the or the standard iPilot. Uh, but this is kind of what it looks. We've got a detached plate here, We've got a foot control here, plenty of storage up underneath. And uh, we also have some back bolsters here for your bow riders. They've got a place where they can lay back. Uh, another thing they changed from last year to this year, if you look at these cleats, they're a lot nicer. They've got the uh, recessed cleats, so when you're not using them, you fold them down, you're not going to catch your leg on them anywhere. It's a little handier, a little beefier deal than it was last year. Okay, um, let's move back here to the back. Um, again, this is by popular demand. We learned this the hard way. Late last year, we started stocking all of these with the uh, vinyl cockpit, and it's got the snap-in, snap-out carpet. So this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. If you want the comfort of the carpet, you can snap it in. If you want the easy cleanup, you just snap it out and leave it in the garage or leave it on the dock, and then you've got your open uh, vinyl, so you just hose it down if you're, you know, if you're going to be doing a lot of fishing and getting slime and stuff up in the cockpit. So. That covers that. Another option you want to make sure you get on your crossovers, which all the ones we stock, you do, we put the uh, sun top on them. And you can see it's nice because it's got its own compartment. It's a hider compartment to get it out of the way so you're not tripping over it when you're not using it. But it's a really good high quality top and it serves its purpose for whatever you want it for, whether it be you know, shade when it's hot out like it is today or if you, uh, it'll keep you dry in the rain. You know, it, it's a good high quality top. It sets up six foot so you're not cramped when it's pitched. And uh, another must option you have. Now this year for 2015, when you get this sun top, you're also going to get this uh, the walkthrough cover. So when you, if you like to fish early and late in the year, you can close this gate up with the walkthrough cover that snaps on right here. That keeps all that wind and water from coming up uh, into the cockpit. Okay. So that uh, that covers that. This is the same as last year. We've got a huge live well here in the back. Yeah. Um, lighted and timed, covers almost two-thirds of the back aft, okay? And then uh, look here, we've got flip seats on each side. This side here actually uh, is where your crank battery is stored. It lifts up just like so, and there's some extra storage up under here, okay? And then if you look on this other side, same deal, this, this folds up and there's some dry storage up underneath here, okay? But again, this is nice and handy to have when you got kids, or just to add to your seating capacity, you got two flip seats. These fold down if you want your uh, casting deck here in the back. Um, let's go over and show you again the dash. They didn't change the dash from last year, which is a good thing because this is a very ergonomic dash. Um, you got your cell phone holder here. Uh, these Infinity stereos have really been really good stereos for us. It's got an MP3 player and a USB port to charge your electronics. Uh, master power switch controls all your live wells and, and pumps, lights, um, and again this customer opted for an 859 Hummingbird. We rig these however you want. We, uh, we customize them for each buyer. So you tell us exactly what electronics you want and then we sell them to you at dealer cost is how we normally do that. So 
Um, this guy went with an 859 and we got a Tarova that are up front. Uh, something else I failed to mention, it's got tilt steering and it's also hydraulic steering. Now when you get 150 horse and above you want to make sure and get that hydraulic steering because uh, if, if you don't you wish you would because it's got enough torque. It steers a lot smoother having that hydraulic steering there in the back. So um, Again we got the same glove box as last year. Huge big storage department here on the on the port side console. Got a cup holder there. It's really good. It's, it's something I'm glad they didn't change because everything is, is very um, up to date and and very practical so again this is the 2015 1875 crossover we're gonna have tons of these in stock um, the best thing to do is just go to our website because we'll have videos and pictures on there which is wakandaboats.com you can call us or email us their phone number and emails on the website my brother Terry is at our Kansas store in Glen Elder I'm Travis here in Republican City Nebraska thank you very much